the Rwandan genocide, which took place between April and July of 1994, stands as one of the darkest episodes in modern history. During this period, an estimated 800,000 Rwandans, mainly from the Tutsi ethnic group, were brutally murdered by members of the Hutu majority government. The international community's response, or rather lack thereof, to this genocide, remains a haunting reminder of the failure to intervene and prevent mass atrocities. In the months leading up to the genocide, disturbing signs were visible to those paying attention. Ethnic tensions were escalating, hate speech and propaganda were spreading like wildfire, and armed shipments were flooding into the country. However, the international community remained largely indifferent failing to recognize the gravity of the situation unfolding before them. One of the main reasons for the international community's inaction was the lack of political will. Many countries were wary of getting involved in a conflict that they deemed to be not in their national interest. Additionally, the memory of the failed UN peacekeeping mission in Somalia was still fresh, leading to a hesitance to intervene in another African crisis. The United Nations, despite being aware of the unfolding genocide, failed to take decisive action. The UN Security Council, under pressure from powerful member states, significantly downsized the peacekeeping mission in Rwanda, just as the situation worsened. The lack of sufficient troops and authority allowed the genocide to progress unchecked. The international media also played a considerable role in the failure to stop the genocide. While some journalists reported on the atrocities taking place in Rwanda, many others remained largely silent or downplayed the severity of the situation. This lack of media attention allowed the genocide to continue with minimal international pressure to intervene. Furthermore, the lack of a clear definition of genocide in international law at the time hindered proactive action. Despite evidence of mass killings and systematic violence, the international community did not classify the situation in Rwanda as genocide until after the majority of the killings had taken place. While individual nations bear responsibility for their failure to respond adequately, the collective failure of the international community as a whole is a stark reminder of the need for stronger multilateral institutions and greater commitment to preventing mass atrocities. The lessons learned from the Rwandan genocide must serve as a catalyst for change, ensuring that such horrors never happen again.